It has been actually it has been exactly two months since the Kona Airport was plunged into darkness after emergency generators failed to switch on during a power outage. That affected about a thousand passengers in the terminal, and the problem happened not once but twice in one week. KITV Force Catherine Cruz traveled to the Big Island to find out what caused the airport emergency and what's being done to keep it from happening again. It's a KITV4 exclusive. If you're like most travelers, you probably don't give backup generators much thought unless something happens. Ladies and gentlemen, we'd like to welcome you to the Kona Airport. Passengers who were just touching down on an Alaskan Airlines flight from Seattle remember what it was like at 10:30 p.m. when the runway and terminal lights went dark. I was just thinking that it was a dangerous situation and it makes me somewhat reluctant to fly back to Kona. I hope they get this situation straightened out. The airport manager admits when the emergency power failed to kick in, it put five or six plane loads of passengers in jeopardy. We dodged the bullet, no doubt. We dodged the bullet. We dodged the bullet. Passengers on board say the chaos included the bathrooms. That was completely dark, and so we used our cell phones again to find our way to the stall. Then the toilets wouldn't flush, and then we went to wash our hands. The water wouldn't come on. When Wang Yuan got the call at 11 p.m. that night, he called the fire department for help and then went to the hardware store to buy $1,000 worth of emergency lights. But there's a battery that kicks in here. So just the one in here? Just the one in here, yeah. Upon closer inspection this month, a private contractor specializing in high voltage work discovered this piece that was damaged by arcing, lightly caused by rain blowing through the ceiling vent. It has been sealed and the faulty piece is replaced. The airport manager will keep this damaged device a reminder of the close call as the state begins a major overhaul of the 44 year old facility. The build out of the Kona Airport is expected to take at least a decade, but officials say this incident just may move up getting a replacement backup generator system in place sooner than later. In Kona, Catherine Cruz, KITV4 News. The state is soliciting bids from an outside electrical firms to help conduct the regular inspections to prevent any future problems. You can tune in tomorrow as we take a closer look at the modernization plans for Kona Airport. I know a lot of people will be interested in that, and there have only been two other outage, power outages at that airport in the last 10 years. One happened in 2012. The second was the result of a major earthquake that was back in 2006.